Welcome back, you beautiful people. It is September 2024, so naturally we're taking a look back at what happened in August 2024, as well as where we sit year to date. We are two-thirds of the way through the year, if you can believe it. In the month of August, we're looking at single houses. We sold a total of 579. That's an 18.6% 18 .6 increase from 2023 but the average price went down by 1.5%. Active listings were sitting on 1,924 properties for people to look at in terms of single detached houses. That's 20% more than in 2023. And we've got 3.3 months of inventory, making it a seller's market. Year to date in the detached world, we've sold a total of 49.49, what a cool number, uh, an increase of 8.7% year to date. And you can see the average price is down from 2023 at 826. So some interesting things to note, prices for August are actually down by 19,000 dollars after already going up this year by a total of 63,000 but the last four months have been drop and drop and drop and drop versus the month over month number so we hit a high point in spring and we have not hit it back again hopefully the month of September sees a bit of an uptick month over month from the month of August Savvy sellers right now are listing their houses more in line with fair market value as opposed to reaching or underlisting and hoping for multiple offers. The detached home segments are still the largest segment, and it seems that we're close to lined up with pricing from last year uh, as we continue through. Uh, we're looking at semis and towns now for the month of August. Total number of sales, 360, an increase of 6.2%. The average price is down by 1%. We've got 27.2 more active listings so a lot more competition out there it is still a seller's market because there is only 2.1 months of inventory and year to date we're sitting at a total number of sales of 30,000 an increase of 5.5 but again the average price down by 0 0.1 so you know very very close uh, but again we're talking month on um, month over month numbers down by fifteen thousand dollars after a thirty thousand thirty eight thousand dollar increase year to date townhouses row houses, condo, freehold, however you want to, you know, uh, uh, chop them up. It is the most accessible type of property. Okay. Really speaks to affordability. And we're selling well-priced towns sell more quickly than any other segment out there right now, specifically the apartment condos. And you can see number of sales for apartment condos down by 8.4% in August. The average price is down by 3.6 and the average price, I'll get into this in a second, month over month is down by about $30,000. Uh, now we typically do see more volatility in this sector. So something to take with a bit of a grain of salt, but something to pay attention to as we move forward. You see the total number of sales. We are in a balanced market. This is the first time we've seen a balanced market in any one of these segments in a long, long time. And year to date, you can see the average uh, price is up by 2.3%, but the number of sales is down by 0.9%. <clears throat> we were talking about this before. $21,000 reduction versus uh, you know where we started at the beginning of this year definitely something to pay attention to as we move forward if you want to pay attention to how all of this affects you and your family whether you're buying whether you're selling what kind of market you're in what the whether it's a detached a semi or a condo it changes for the different regions so we can overlay your region on these numbers and get you an exact idea of what your value is as always reach out the team and I'm more than happy to help the phone number one 888 real 585 and until next time keep it real collective